you download the Mr. G app. Just a second. I just have to turn because I'm left-handed. <laughs> you press one button for two and a half seconds. Uh -huh. And now the watch connects to the app. So now you get a, like a welcome screen which shows the uh -huh, watch uh -huh. and you have like an introduction. You, ha you can see when has the, because the watch updates itself two times a day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It takes, first it tries to receive the, the time by a um, radio control. Uh -huh. If that doesn't work because you know not everywhere in the world you have uh -huh. a really um, strong signal, yeah, yeah. it uses GPS and if that doesn't work you still, it, it connects uh, or it, it updates the time as soon as you connect From it the to phone. the uh -huh, uh -huh. So what you can see here, latest correction is just one minute ago because we have connected. Uh -huh. So you can see, for example, I just started the watch today so there's no graphics, but it would show, okay, yesterday I updated my time at 2 o'clock, the uh, day before uh -huh, yesterday uh -huh. at that time. And so, self-charge it's for the solar. Right? Exactly, uh -huh, because uh -huh. it works solely with solar, uh -huh. our tough solar technology. Uh -huh. Here you have also an overview how strong your um, battery is loaded. Uh -huh. So this is half because we're not outside, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, anyway, it would show you how it how it has charged itself uh -huh. uh, in the past. The and past that self-update, what does it mean? Self-update is what I meant uh, initially. If let's say uh, Haiti decides ah, not to participate, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's it's saved here. It's also shown here, so you uh -huh. also can uh, inform yourself. And of course, it updates. Nice. The, so really interesting. But what is also very nice to see is. You can switch to the world time uh, modus. Mm -hmm. So what you see basically is that the, the watch is mirrored here. Yeah. So you see the same times here. Mm -hmm. At the moment we have on the main dial the Berlin time zone. Yep. On the 6 o'clock position we have the Tokyo, Tokyo time. Yeah. Let's say you're traveling to Tokyo, you just uh, arrive in Tokyo at Tokyo airport mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you want to have the Tokyo time at the main dial uh -huh. because this is what is more interesting yeah, right yeah. now. You just switch the time zones. Mm -hmm. It changes on the phone and mm -hmm. you confirm, send it to my watch and you will see the time zones are uh -huh, shifted. Uh -huh. I see and that motor is really fast because it on, really some, is, yeah. on some G-Shock models when you change the time it's really like slow. Yeah. Um, in this generation, we have updated the, the, the uh -huh, module, the uh -huh. whole module, uh, integrating the GPS, but also a dual coil motor, which ah, means that, uh -huh. that there are several motors which can be um, used at the same time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because you can see there, there's a, there's a hand which, which shows the, the, uh, the, um, the weekdays. weekdays yeah. Exactly. The, up there, you have a, a hand which shows if it's AM or PM. So there's uh -huh, a lot of. Uh -huh. uh, Te technology inside the watch and also a lot of motors which have to work yeah. independently from each other. But it doesn't have the compass, altimeter. And uh, no, this this one. This version have. is more pure. <laughs> it's it's more focused on uh, on time zone, yeah, yeah. on on on, 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 on the travel uh, aspect mm -hmm. that you have always the correct um, uh, timing where wherever you are in, in the world. What it also has and what you can also. Um, apply via your app you can also use the alarm function ah, yeah. timer function yeah. so some useful uh -huh. uh, gadgets uh, it has a buzzer inside right it, it has a buzzer people. inside uh -huh. exactly uh -huh. of course you can also um, apply everything with the crown yeah but i mean this is more yeah comfortable, it's better right? and, and faster and even convenient nice